This is Digital Bike Computing. Today we're going to look at some easy ways to do video editing on your Mac. So a lot of people find it uh, daunting to go and edit some videos. I think it's very difficult to record some videos on your iPhone or on your camcorder, put them into, compu into your computer and then go and shuffle the videos around, add new uh, transitions, add some text, trip, trim them, cut them, merge them together, etc. A lot of people can find that daunting, but the process is very straightforward using iMovie for your Mac. So iMovie comes pre-installed on most newer Macs. Uh, you can go and search for it. Um, either you may have it in your dock iMovie, or you could have it in your applications, or just do a search from your spotlight on your top right corner. So first things first, make sure you have iMovie, because iMovie is the app that will do all this great stuff for you. So let's start from the very start. We have just opened up iMovie and we're going to click on new. So we're going to create a new movie, a new project. Okay. You're going to get presented with a number of themes here. So themes can be helpful. Uh, they can look pretty good. Uh, however, you're sort of stuck with this particular template. Uh, you know, you can edit it slightly, but overall you're going to be stuck with this template. So it's up to you if you want to use some of these. So if I just clicked on this one, for example, and it shows you a little preview. All right, so that's one video, that's another video, etc. And that's another another video. So what that just showed you there, that was three individual clips that you put into iMovie, and then it's just done these nice little transitions and animations to make you just look really cool. Um, you can do that. Have have a play, have an experiment with some of these things if you want to. They are pretty cool. Uh, but we're going to start with a blank theme, so no theme whatsoever, and we're going to start from scratch. So we're going to go through all of those steps. So select no theme and click on create. We're going to call it something. Let's call it my test movie, and we leave it into that event. Okay. All right. So that is it. So that's currently got no movies on it at all. There's no video clips or anything. So what we want to do is we want to just import a whole bunch. So literally, I've just got a few movies in here in this working folder, .mov files. So I've copied these files to my computer from my camcorder. You can copy them from your iPhone or from another device that is able to record videos. So I've got a couple of movies here. I'm going to drag one into the timeline. And then I've got my second one into the timeline. So here are two clips. Yeah, This is the first clip that you can see here. You've got a little drag here where you can drag. And you can see on the top right here, um, essentially what you're playing. If I click on spacebar, all right, that's where it will start playing it. Start showing you the sound and everything as well. Spacebar to pause it, spacebar to play it, and then you can just drag that across. And then that goes into the second movie here. So let's just put in a third movie. Let's drag it into there. Okay, so there are now three individual clips here. Okay, now if I uh, play these one after another, It just goes straight into the next clip, which is sort of cool. You know, you could now go and export that, and you've essentially just joined three movies into one. But it still doesn't look too crash hot. It's still pretty plain uh, and pretty simple. So, one thing you could always do is uh, add transitions. So, you click on the transition tab. So, on the bottom left, you've got a content library. Transitions, you can put in titles and text, you can put in music from your iTunes library, etc. Okay, now what you'll see here as well is that you've got your, your um, video bar and then underneath it is your volume. So this is the volume of the overall track. So you can click on this as well and you can raise your volume, you can lower your volume as well. You can also right click and detach your volume altogether. So you can remove the audio altogether from that video clip. So let's just say I'm watching something, all right, so I know that there's audio here. Click on next. Okay, so I'm going to stop it there. Now, I know that there's no audio really until around here. There is a bit here, but it's not really anything important, but until here. So most of this rest of this video, I don't really need it. So what can I do? I put my, my line around there. Then I can right click on the video and I can say split clip like so. And that has now split the clip into two. If I play it, it'll play from one to the other but it's now split the clip. And I know that the other one will be around here. Okay, that's where my line is. Right click, 
split clip. And then I could grab that bit which I don't want and delete. And that has now removed that clip. So now when I play it, it's going to go jump from one straight to the next one, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do is I can add a freeze frame, which is really cool. So if I like the picture of that, I can right click and say add freeze frame. And that will now just add that frame just as a still image for you know that duration, for four seconds. I can change all that as well. But uh, that's just a really cool feature as well. So let's just delete that. Actually, let's undo that so that's always one. So that is um, splitting. Okay, you can detach the audio as I said before. A few other things, you can change the speed. We're not going to go through that just yet. Another thing you can do is you can change the, well, if you look on top here, you can actually change the quality of your video. You can add effects to the video itself. So if I select this, I can then click on this area here. I can change my white balance. I can match my color to another frame. Uh, I can change the, you know, make it darker, make it lighter, change the, um, the, the temperature, right? More blue, more yellow sort of color scheme. Uh, I can crop my video, so if I like, let's say we say Ken Burns, and we want to just have that area there, enter, that's now cropped it, okay, um, what is this one, stabilize shaky video, which is really cool, so if you've got a camera, like this video is a bit shaky, All right, so I can add that, it's then going to go and process that video and make it less shaky essentially, which is also a really, really cool feature. There are things such as the audio, you can raise the audio level, lower the volume of other clips, to sort of, a, if I've got multiple clips that are different volumes, I can select each clip, raise the volume, lower the volume on each one as well. Reduce background noise is a really cool feature. If you're out in the uh, outside, for example, and there's a lot of wind, reducing background noise can actually reduce uh, noises that you don't necessarily want to be in the video. Uh, the speed, how fast do you want the, the clip to go? Video effect. So this is some really cool features. So you can sort of hover over this and you can actually see it's going to create some nice little videos. You can invert the colors, black and white it, etc. All right. That's also really cool. Uh, and then just some info on that uh, on that video. So there are all the, uh, I guess, effects that you can do on the video itself, which is actually really, really handy to have. Next, let's look at transitions. Transitions are bits that you put between your video clips. So for example, we've got a uh, cross dissolve, cross blur, fade to black, etc. So if I put a cross dissolve, all I do is I grab it and I put it between these two clips. I can then start the clip and if you look, it's just dissolved into it beautifully. Next. Okay, as opposed to the previous one, which is just a rough transition, you know, so I can put a doorway cross and do a nice little effect like that, you know, let's add a uh, cross zoom. Oh, actually, now let's try this one, page cut. This one looks pretty cool. Play it from there. And there we go. So that's some really cool things, really nice transitions that you can add to your videos to make them uh, a bit nicer, spruce them up a little bit. Titles. You can add a whole bunch of stuff here. Yeah? So I can add a title on top of my text. In here. This is a title. Yeah? So when it comes to that part, install it on. So we want to select boot camp. There is my title. I can extend it. I can grab the little fingers here, the little uh, arrows, and make it bigger. Okay. I can also add a title between my clips. So let's say I want to put this in here. Yeah. Test. I can select here. And then there's a transition of just text in between. Okay. But obviously you want to have some transitions in there. So let's just add a transition there and a transition there. So let's look at that. There we go. Much nicer. Titles. Maps and backgrounds. You can add 
you know, some really cool things, add some nice backgrounds to it, add some maps to it, etc. iTunes lets you add music to your right from your iTunes library. Okay. So let's just say I want to add uh, let's add this song here. Okay. Whatever. Alright, just add it in there, it'll start doing it in the background. So let's say I like this song here. And I don't want this audio, so I can detach the audio. Or oh, actually, let's see, let's play it together. Let's play the so that's me talking and the clip in the background. Or I can detach the audio, delete the audio from the original one, and then it's just the video, uh, the the, uh, the music from here. Sound effects. Okay, well, we don't really have anything there. So nice, cool little sound effects that you've got there. Etc. They're always nice to have. You can interlace them. So I can grab a chicken in here. I can grab this one in here. Let's just remove this big one. That's the one that we just put before. So yeah, nice little thing that you can do there. You can add some garage band stuff in there as well if you've uh, done anything there. And that's really, really all it is. I mean, that's the basic, uh, the basic steps. You can then go and export it, and um, yes, yeah, it's just really cool. Uh, so that is uh, some basic editing, very straightforward. Next step that what you can do is you go into File and share that video. So you can share it directly into into your iTunes or email or into Facebook or YouTube. In my case, I normally like to save it to a file so that I can then go and give it to people. For example, you know, and go into File. I can give it a name. What resolution? So how big do you want it to be? Uh, do you want it just to be video or audio? Um, what's the quality? Low, medium, high, best quality, etc. Gives you an estimate on how big it'll be. Um, or I can post it directly to you know to YouTube and provide my YouTube details, and then I'll add that video in there. Uh, so that is some basic editing. Again, you can do a whole bunch more. There is some other really cool things you can do, but that's just a basic overview of editing in iMovie. Uh, so I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, feel free to comment and give me a thumbs up on my video, it would be great. And you can subscribe to my channel. Visit my website also at www.digitalbycomputing.com. Thanks for watching.